if you're looking for a boat that has the accommodation of a, a higher boat or an ex-higher boat but with a bit more style and panache and a bit more performance then this Galleon 360 really does deserve uh, some careful consideration. Hi, I'm Niall Heaney. Today we are taking a look at a Galleon 360 aft cabin cruiser. The boat was built in 2002 and it's only run uh, just over 300 hours, 335 hours. This boat's a little bit different. You don't see many of them around uh, and the layout for a 36 foot boat is, is fairly unusual but I think it's all the better for it. The accommodation that, that they squeeze into this uh, 36 foot hull uh, is amazing. Uh, the boat has two separate cabins, it's being the aft cabin model obviously. It's also got two separate um, saloon seating areas. It's got a full size galley, it's got a nice flybridge and a, and a large aft cockpit area as well. It's Swedish designed uh, and built by, by Galleon, uh, a Polish yard that have gone from strength to strength in recent years. Now this particular boat has only ever been used in fresh water. It was uh, originally owned by the Galleon dealer in Holland and the current owner purchased it from him uh, and brought the boat to the Shannon waterway in, in Ireland here so the boat has only ever spent its time in, uh, in fresh water and that, that's really apparent whenever you take a look around the boat and even behind the scenes the, the quality of the, the condition of, of all the fixture and fittings, the mechanicals, everything is absolutely top notch. I've gone through the boat in detail today We've had it out on the river um, and tested the performance as well and I can say uh, hand in my heart that this is an extremely good quality boat in very good condition. Um, so what we'll do is we'll take a look through the boat and we'll show you the layout, we'll show you the features on board uh, and you can see for yourself how good it is. Before we take a look inside the boat um, I thought I should just show you the, the swim platform area and also the aft cockpit. On some of these aft cabin boats, uh, the access can be quite difficult, um, but I don't think the Galleon suffers that. Um, we've got an access step here on the port side of the swim platform, so you can get onto the boat fairly easily um, from the stern. And then we've also got um, an access through the guardrails on both the port and starboard sides. That's probably the typical spot where you'll, where you'll hop on and off. All the decks are teak laid. Um, just at the transom here we've got our shore power hookup points and, and fresh water shower there on the port side. We've also got an opening hatch into the aft cabin uh, and we've also got a separate uh, door into the aft cabin from the swim platform which again quite unusual of a boat this, on a boat of this size and it means that that aft cabin really is a, a sort of separately contained accommodation block on the boat. We've also got weaver snap davits installed on the swim platform um, for storing a dinghy uh, and a vertical ladder giving you access up onto the, the cockpit area. As you can see the cockpit this is a 12 foot wide boat so it's a nice beamy boat. Um, cockpit space is very good. We've got seating and sort of sun lounging areas on, on both sides uh, and then we've got a little uh, inclined ladder up onto again another large area up on the flybridge. The flybridge has a single helm seat on the starboard side with uh, all the gauges that you're going to need up here. You've got controls for the bow thruster, we've got speed and depth log, engine instruments and uh, trim tab controls as well as a secondary VHF radio. And as you can see it's a nice large flybridge area a forward rake screen. We've also got a bimini top up here that you can put up on some of your days. 
The helm position there is very good, it's comfortable. You get a really commanding view all around the boat. And we've got a forward facing bench, which is wide enough for three or four adults. Just at the back of the flybridge there. The radar arch that you see here um, folds down, which means that this is a very good boat for inland cruising. The arch has locating screws at the front and it's hinged at the back. So it's a fairly straightforward operation to lower the, the arch down if you're passing under low bridges or for, for road transport. Um, we've got a searchlight, forward facing searchlight up here. We've got a mountain pedestal for a radar or electronic equipment. Um, the nav light is missing off the top of that uh, pedestal there but it will be replaced prior to sale. We've also got our VHF antenna up here. Just taking a look around, even the exterior of this boat, you can tell it has been very well looked after. Obviously there's a full cover for this flybridge, the owner's been meticulous about keeping the boat well maintained. The teak decks throughout are in very, very good condition, as is the upholstery up here. And also all the instrumentation, all the equipment is all fully operational. With a nice big fore deck, easy access up both sides of the boat, and we've got a forward windlass with uh, foot switches there, right up at the forepeak of the bow. Access into the saloon is via this sliding perspex door and down three steps and a wide companionway. The first thing you notice when you come on board is how bright and spacious the boat feels. Nice big air glass areas right the way around. Uh, and you'll also notice the rich mahogany joinery that goes throughout the boat. Uh, it's very easy to keep uh, and it's all in excellent condition. On the port side we've got a, a huge wrap around U-shaped seating arrangement around a very large table. Um, the owner has unscrewed the table from the basin and he found that just with the way he was using the boat the lower table was more than adequate for the requirements they just used this as a lounging area and just tried to keep it a bit sort of clutter free. He has put the table back in now for selling the boat but you'll easily fit four or five possibly even six adults around that seating area. Off the port then we've got the enclosed heads compartment which we'll show you in just a moment and then down another couple of stairs you have access into the aft cabin area. It's coming down into the aft cabin here. We've got full standing headroom at the entrance to the cabin up at the head of the bed here and you'll also see the uh, the stern door which gives access out onto the swim platform. The cabin itself is quite spacious. The, the head height drops um, over the bed um, but the floor does drop down there as well through the centre so it's quite easy to get access in through there. There's absolutely loads of storage in here. Um, we've got a nice a huge wardrobe which you'll see in the photographs just here on the right hand side. Uh, another hanging locker straight ahead and more large cupboards uh, just above the bed there. Big opening hatch there um, for ventilation and light and then underneath the bed is where you get access into the engine bay. We'll show you the engines just before we take the boat out for a run. One of the unique features about the layout of this boat is the fact that the, the aft cabin has a little sort of annex berth which will just take you through and show you. This is great for kids. Um, it, it's quite compact obviously um, but a big single bed there. It's got its own overhead light and again another port light in there just for a bit of natural light and ventilation. Um, it is part of the aft cabin um, and it would make either very good storage area or like I said a, a berth for kids. Um, and with the, the heads compartment being located towards the stern of the boat on the same side just in there and the separate access onto the swim platform makes this this aft cabin area a really nice sort of self-contained master suite if you like for owners um, 
or for uh, for guests if you're if you've got guests on board with the rest of your family you can put them back here and they can uh, have a bit of privacy one thing I should point out just before we leave the aft cabin is about the only fault that you could find on this boat the little water stain um, the owner was telling me how he had a leak from I think it was a wire coming down from the radar arch and it caused a bit of a leak in through the the cockpit floor which was running down along this panel in the aft cabin uh, and it's just stained the wood very slightly uh, the water was just pulling there at that point uh, now the wood is absolutely bone dry it was, repa it was repaired about a year ago uh, the wood's bone dry these cabinets are all absolutely perfect they're, they're not stained or anything um, and it's just an unfortunate thing that happened uh, but it's repaired now there's no uh, structural damage it's just purely cosmetic uh, just if you pick that up on the photographs just wanted to explain what that was coming out of the aft cabin then we've got direct access into the heads compartment um, again it's very spacious um, plenty of elbow room in there we've got two open up port lights a strip light above the, the sink unit uh, and that also uh, has a removable head which doubles up as a shower compartment um, we've got a manual pump out toilet in there uh, and again bags of storage underneath and a nice teak slatted grid onto the floor the lower helm position is also on the starboard side of the boat um, and we've got a twin wide helm seat and a very well appointed and practically laid out helm position this boat is like I said it was designed in Sweden um, for use in coastal waters this one's only ever been used inland but that doesn't take away from the, the sort of cruising credentials of this boat you can tell from it's got a huge chart table here uh, it's category B rated um, and it's a very sturdy solid practical seagoing boat we have a lovely mahogany steering wheel here we've got a 12 volt switch panel with circuit breakers below we've body thruster controls we've got drive trim controls there's a stern drive boat which means it's particularly efficient uh, underway we've got trim tab controls throttle levers and a full suite of instrumentation full range of Volvo Penta gauges there uh, and a nice little red light if you're navigating after dark we've also got uh, Raytheon speed and depth logs with uh, separate readouts there up above we've got room up there for electronics like I said this is an inland boat um, so the previous owners didn't have any call for navigational systems or radar or any of that type of thing but there is scope to install it and it would be very easy to bring the uh, to install a, a set of up-to-date uh, electronic navigational aids to the boat the helm position is good and the visibility right the way around is excellent as well we've got a nice little opening window on the starboard side so you can communicate with uh, your deck hands whenever you're berthing the boat
moving forward then from the helm position we go down a couple of steps and we have our well pointed galley to starboard and the dinette to port again it's a big dinette you'll see four adults around there lots of storage a couple of cupboards above it there um, and then on the starboard side we've got the the galley the galley is really well equipped we've got a dual voltage refrigerator we've got absolutely loads of storage both above and below the countertop nice big fiddles on the shelving and things around here to keep all the your knickknacks where you put them whenever you're underway we've got a twin drainer sink stainless steel sink which is nice a good size we've got some storage below the countertop here we've got a little Wallace diesel uh, hob here a two ring hob with the kerosene tank for that stored underneath the, the dinette seat means you can cook wherever whenever you're at anchor away from the dock you're not relying on shore power for your uh, cooking facilities a couple of nice overhead deck lights down in this area in combination with the screen above means that you get lots of light down here and it's a pleasant place to spend time if you're cooking on board moving forward then again you get access into the separate forward cabin so this is a, a v-berth double little infill piece there uh, to convert the make the butt the bed up into the full length so we've got full standing room here in the the forward cabin teak floors again uh, we've got two little occasional seats there at the at the entrance of the cabin uh, and a couple of hanging lockers on both sides with additional storage underneath there um, so you've more than enough room to get changed in here with the little full cushion removed nice nice bit of uh, floor space um, and nice big wide shelves up around the, the berth there as well a um, couple of open port lights and a large overhead deck light so this is a very spacious cabin again um, self-contained lots of privacy Standing here, you really get an impression of the, the amount of space on board this boat. Again, it's it's amazing for a 36 foot boat. It just feels so spacious. You've got uh, a choice of two different sort of lounging areas indoors. You've got the huge cabin or cockpit area at the back, the flybridge, two separate self-contained cabins, um, and this full-size galley arrangement. It really is an amazing amount of room on a 36 foot boat, and you can really tell. I mean it. This boat, to my mind, is a great alternative to an X higher boat, um, and it's got. I think the I really like the lines of this boat. That the styling's great, um, and you get super performance from the twin Volvo 8041 diesel steering drives. The condition of the boat. Hopefully, it's apparent from the video. Um, and I've been through this boat in detail today. We've run it on the river. Uh, the condition is absolutely fantastic. I, I was really pleasantly surprised whenever I got here. The, the owner told me that the boat was very good, um, but I, I tend to want to see these things with my own eyes. Uh, and this one is, is in fantastic condition. It's been really well looked after. The owner's gone to a lot of trouble today to make sure it's presented properly, which is good um, for everybody. It, it means that he's serious about selling it, and he also has looked after the boat very well over the course of its life. He purchased the boat from... Uh, the original selling dealer uh, in 2006 now it was owned by that dealer and used as a demonstrator model for for a few years um, but we've got all the original I'm holding copies of all the original paperwork including the, the purchase invoice which shows that the VAT has been paid in the EU um, I've got the declaration of uh, conformity with the CE craft directive and everything that we need um, the, the boat there's a full uh, file of provenance with the boat um, the, the owner has maintained it properly. The engine bay is immaculate. You can tell that the boat's only ever spent its time in, in fresh water. Um, and all the controls, the, the throttle levers are, are nice and smooth. The steering is super light. Everything is working bar, I think, the horn switch on the at the upper helm position. 
isn't working the horn itself is working just that switch um, and the, the navigation light which is going to be replaced I mean the owners told me those whenever you're looking at a boat of this size and of this age and your snagging list is like two items long that says a lot about the condition of the boat I think that the person for this boat is going to be somebody who's looking to get really good value for money because the, the value of this boat is fantastic um, they want a capable boat that's well constructed it's going to last a considerable period of time uh, and it's packing as much accommodation as possible into this sort of 10 11 meter hull you will go far to find another 11 meter boat that has this much accommodation on board and can sleep as many people in comfort and privacy as this galleon 360 aft cabin so if you think that this might be a boat that you're interested in uh, please give me a call I'd be delighted to have a chat with you we can arrange for you to come over here and have a look at the boat it's down in County Clare on the Shannon in, in Ireland um, and uh, you're more than welcome to have the boat surveyed inspected uh, this boat's going to um, pose absolutely no problems for for future owners and I'm highly confident that uh, it's going to be a great buy for somebody so thank you for watching uh, and speak to you soon.